Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, a very special Coach's Corner, Westminster edition. After the announcement yesterday that YSN and Westminster College will be teaming up to simulcast the majority of Westminster College's athletic events, we wanted to have, well, I guess the OG, another Westminster graduate and the athletic director of Westminster College, Mr. Jason Letter, joins us. Jason, how are you? I'm doing great, DJ. Um, certainly, yesterday was a great announcement. Super excited about the partnership moving forward with you. And uh, I tell our student athletes, anytime that we can partner with an alum on any venture, to me, it's just an added bonus. Um, so the fact that we're able to partner with you and, and increase uh, the exposure of our brand um, makes it even more exciting. So it's, uh, it's a good day and uh, happy to be here with you today. Oh, I'm happy that you're here, man. Happy that we finally got everything, the, the T's crossed, the I's dotted. Um, of course, that both of those in Westminster, so it makes sense. Um, but it's one of those situations where we wanted to make sure that that it made sense for everybody involved. For Westminster, you're getting a, a brighter light to shine uh, across Northeast Ohio, Western Pennsylvania. Um, for for us, we're getting more content, and and a lot of our kids are already over there. They've graduated from high school. Uh, they're headed to Westminster for reasons that you and I both know very intimately. But for 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 this partnership to work, um, I think one of the biggest things, and we've talked about it at length, is that it is a 50-50 a partnership, and it is a win-win situation. For you, what stood out when we first started talking about the opportunities with YSN and Westminster? Certainly you. Um, you know, like I said, your your commitment to, to YSN and, and really what you've done to, to, to build your programming and so forth. And, you know, I think any time that I... A partnership or partner with anybody, it has to be um, a mutual benefit for both sides, like you just mentioned. And and the fact that this was something that you were interested in, um, and I knew that you were going to work hard at it, and it was going to be beneficial for us as well. Uh, I think that's what interested me the most. Um, there's a genuine concern and um, interest on your end to making sure that uh, the product that we produce, what we air, the content that we have on your site it is really genuine and beneficial for our student athletes and the college and, and certainly helping uh, your venture as well. So th that's really what um, interests me and piqued my interest the most uh, was really partnering with someone who cared truly about uh, what was going to happen to Westminster and how it was going to benefit us. Now you're a guy that graduated from Westminster. There's a lot of pride there. And that was one of the, the early conversations that we had is the, the fact that you have such an appreciation for what these student athletes go through. Obviously, you're you're the, the the lead dog, the CEO of the Westminster Athletic Department, as far as I'm concerned. What I mean for you to have that and to be an alum, how much pride goes into it for you? I mean, can you even put that into words as to to what it means to to wear the blue and white every day? Yeah, it, you know, I've shared this with a lot of folks that I've talked to. You know, I've had I've been fortunate to work at at. Uh, four different schools. And this job here has been the most rewarding of the different places that I worked. And I say that because of the relationships that I have with the student athletes. When you work in athletics, um, it's it's really not that different when you go down to the core of what we do. And, and so the other places that I've worked might have been bigger, they might have had uh, larger budgets, larger stadiums. Uh, but at the core of it, my job is to make sure that our student athletes have wonderful experiences. And, and what I mean by that is that they have an experience at Westminster that if there's time after they leave that they're able to get give back and get re-engaged, that they want to do it because they enjoyed their time here. And so for me to be in this role is special because I, I get to work with so many wonderful student athletes. I get to know them personally. I get to watch them compete, watch them practice. And so it's a re very rewarding position to be in. Um, and, and I'm thankful that every day I get to get up and come to work here and, and enjoy every moment of it. When you were at Westminster as a student, was it a goal of yours to come back and eventually be an administrator someday? You know, I actually never thought it would happen. I, I really didn't. You know, my career took me to a lot of different places. Um, we went, you know, as far out west as, as Illinois. And, um, it, you know, it was a case where my predecessors were all here a really long time, right? And so you just, you never know when an opportunity is going to open up. And, and so when Coach Daffler announced his retirement, 
I immediately got a handful of phone calls from coaches that coached me when I was here and, and said, Hey, um, coach Daffler is retiring. Is it anything that you'd be interested in? And, and I said, well, of course, you know, my wife and I are initially from Western Pennsylvania. And so the, the chance to come home uh, to return to your alma mater um, was certainly intriguing. And so um, it was certainly something that uh, I didn't plan on, but you know, in this job, you, you never know what's going to happen and the timing just worked out and, and uh, here we are starting year four. So it's amazing how fast it's gone. I, take us through a day in the life of, of, of a college athletic director, because I mean, we, we know what high school athletic directors have to go through college. Obviously you take that to the next level. You're wearing a lot of hats. You're doing a lot of things, obviously trying to grow programs, trying to make sure you know, GPAs are in check and, and you guys have standout uh, opportunities for your student athletes for you. Um, what's a day in the life like and why does it keep you coming back day after day after day? Uh, the one thing I love most about working in athletics is it's um, it's it's different every day. It, there, there's very little routine. The the only thing that's routine about it is that you 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 come to the to work in a given day and you think you have a plan and it typically doesn't go that way. You know, I spend a lot of time with coaches, um, you know, talking with them about their programs and, and working through issues. Um, typically we'll go uh, around and check our facilities to make sure that they're where I want them to be. They're looking the way I want them to look. Certainly spend time on academics, dealing with uh, eligibility for our student athletes, spend time fundraising, getting out on the road and visiting with donors. And, and so it, it's just one of those jobs that it's just has so many different components to it that it's, it's exciting every day and, and it never gets old. It never gets stale. And it just keeps you on your toes every day. And, and when you walk in, you never know if if the building is falling down and you got to figure out how to hold it up or uh, we've just won the conference championship and you're going to celebrate with a coach and with a team. So it's um, it's very rewarding. It's very um, unpredictable at times. But I think that's part of what makes it so exciting is that um, you, you come to work sometimes and you just don't know what the day has in store for you. As an athletic director, you understand the, the value of competition, but you know, understanding that your every day is a competition to get kids, student athletes, parents on your campus to see just how beautiful it is. Talk to me about you know your, I guess, plan for that. I mean, obviously YSN's a part of that now, but what, what plans do you have and, and how do you get people on campus because most people look at Westminster College and they go, okay, where's New Wilmington? And then, and, and then they look it up and they see just a bunch of Amish buggies rolling around. And once they actually get on campus, it's, it's a different kind of special. So can you take me through that? Sure. You know, our, our coaches do an unbelievable job of, of recruiting. And, you know, they, they work really hard to, to get young men and women to, to visit our campus. You know, what I've tried to do in, in my first three years here is, is really – try to bring as many high school events that we can here to expose uh, the college to folks that maybe uh, wouldn't come here for whatever reason. You know, we were talking about it before we started the show. We're, we're actually hosting uh, a high school football game this evening. Um, we hosted uh, some softball championships the last couple of years. And so I, I think that the hardest part, number one, is to get them to come here. But then when they come here, how do you treat them? What do you show them? How do our facilities look? What's that first impression? they're going to get. And so my job is to make sure that our coaches have the tools that they can recruit the student athletes to come here. But when they come here, um, we give them all the reasons as to why they want to select Westminster. So what, what do our facilities look like? Are they clean? Um, do, do we have logos on them? Do they look like um, th that we've taken care of them? And what do our locker rooms look like? Are they clean when they come here? I'm, I'm very big on appearance. And, um, and and so we spend a lot of time working on the little details of things, because I think when you're when you're coming to a place for the first time, your first impression is important. And, and so when our folks come on campus and and when I hear them talk about how beautiful our facilities are and how wonderful our lobby looks and how clean it is and and how, how well we take care of things, I think those are the important things. And, and then and then when we get them here and, and I have a chance to visit with them. I love to brag about the college and and you know my background that you see behind me right now is, is there for a reason i have my jersey on the wall and it's next to my diplomas uh, because i talk a lot about westminster being a do both school and and what do i mean by that is you know a lot of schools that are recruiting um, against us 
and they may be um, strong academically and maybe don't have the a uh, athletic success that we've had uh, or the other way around. When you come to Westminster, you get to do both. You, you get to play sports. Uh, you get to play for teams that have a long, rich tradition of success. And then you get to get a really wonderful degree. And, and so you're not compromising one over the other. And so when parents will come in my office with recruits, the thing they see on my wall is that they that you can play sports and you can get your degree and you don't have to sacrifice one over the other to be successful. So we have a lot of wonderful things to sell when they come here. Uh, we just got to do the things that are required to get them here so we can showcase all the things that um, we're very proud of. Well said, my friend. That's awesome. I mean, it's perfect because, I mean, once you get there, you realize, but you've got to put the work in the classroom and you certainly, if you want to play a sport, uh, at the next level, you've got to put the work in there as well because it's not high school uh, athletics anymore. You're not just going to get there because your mom or dad or your bloodline necessarily. You're, you're going to have to put the work in and, and fight for those pack championships. As uh, as we know, the hallways are full of those now. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah, um, you know, it's, um, it's college sports are very different than when I was in school a long time ago. And our young men and women now are practicing and competing year round. The, the teams that um, are not in season, their spring sports, they're in the middle of their non-traditional seasons. And so five minutes before I was jumping on this call, I was out on the softball field with our folks, making sure the softball field was prepped and ready for practice because now they're gonna practice even though their season doesn't start in the spring. So, you know, people think that you play um, sports at a small college and, and that you don't spend as much time as you do at a big time school. That's not the case. You know, we, we put in the time, we practice just as hard. Um, are things different? Of course they are. But our young men and women are, are practicing year round. And, and so it's just different. And, and so the commitment that they have to their sport, um, to their academics is unbelievable. And it is different than high school. You have to go to class, you have to keep your grades up because if you don't, you can't participate. And so I'm really proud of our, our young men and women and, and how hard they work. And um, it's certainly a big commitment, it much, much bigger of a commitment than it was when I went to school here. I'm in the same boat, dude. I want to give you a few minutes to talk about the, you mentioned the, the commitment that you have to all your athletic teams. I saw that the, the gym was just renovated. It looks beautiful. Uh, the, the natatorium as well, I believe, is, is, uh, is being renovated as well. How much goes into, I mean, when you, when you get kids on the campus, yes, it's, it's an older college, right? It was uh, based in what the 1800s, you know, is when it started, it was founded. Um, but to you, uh, you started in 2021. When you came in, did you have a checklist of things that you wanted to renovate and update? And, and how is that list kind of materializing now? Sure. So, you know, my, my first day on the job, uh, I remember getting in a golf cart and driving around campus with our director of facilities. And, you know, I have a keen eye for things that I would uh, like to see the way they look. And, you, you know, when you, when you come into a new role, you, you know it's going to take some time to to, to make changes, right? Because you're not going to come in and make sweeping changes to everything right away. And, you know, certainly we have limited resources here. So, you know, you, you we have wonderful facilities to begin with. You know, when I got here, we had just opened the UPMC soccer lacrosse field. We just opened up a brand new baseball field, a brand new softball field, and the field house was spectacular. Um, the two facilities that may have been the most tired facilities that we had, our gym and our natatorium, just got renovated this year. And so a lot of what I did initially um, was a lot of cosmetic work. And, and it was really kind of just fixing some things that maybe just hadn't been kept up the way they should have been. And they, they just did, they looked unsightly. And, and I think that, you know, when you have facilities and, and you don't have a thousand of them, then you need to take care of the ones that you have. So we did some things um, in the gym before before we were able to get the gym completely renovated with some painting, some signage, some new chairs, some scores tables. We took some, um, we painted the press box at, at football and, and made that more appealing. And, and we did some things on campus just to dress up some things that people when they came here would notice. And once again, when you come here on game day and you look at our facilities, I want people to go, wow, those are really well kept. They're really well done. Um, they all look, um, in uniform and so you don't have a, a different font over here or a different color of blue over here and so those are, those are some things that we we took care of right away uh, now moving forward we certainly have some larger projects that are on our list you know we need press boxes at the three new fields that we just talked about 
and, and so we're actively pursuing um, a fundraising campaign to put a press box down at ba the baseball field, but we also need one at softball and we also need one at soccer lacrosse. And then we really need to look at our locker room space. Um, right now we're really tight with locker rooms. Uh, we don't have dedicated locker rooms to all of our teams. I wanna make that happen. And so you're, you're always trying to look for ways to improve, always trying to give our coach the advantage on if you're recruiting um, a young um, you know, male or female, what is gonna make Westminster different than the other schools that we're recruiting against? And that's my job to make sure that those coaches have those things in place. I'll tell you what, um, it, it's been incredible to walk around campus now. I mean, we had the, the volleyball game, our all-star volleyball game at Westminster last year, thanks to you uh, and, and Tammy. So thank you for that. Uh, but I'm excited to see it because new bleachers that you know, uh, I think are the first time that we've had new bleachers since uh, probably the gym was installed. The, um, um, just so you know, I don't mean to interrupt you, but the, the, the gym floor and the bleachers that we just replaced were original to the building. Oh, my God. And they were installed in 1951. Oh, 1951, my God. 1951, so they were 73 years old, and this is the first time they've been replaced. So the gym looks phenomenal. Um, I'm biased. I think we have the nicest gym in the conference at this point. Um, but yeah, you know, th those things that need to be done, right? Because the young men and women that come here, that's what they look at now. They look at the facilities, they look at locker rooms, what kind of gear am I going to get? Yep. They, they buy with their eyes. And, um, you know, so we have to, to show them those things that when they come here and, and know that you're also going to get a fabulous degree. I'll tell you what, you take a lot of pride in wearing that dub on your chest, and we appreciate it. Uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that take a, pr a lot of pride in you back home. Uh, talk to me about, about family life for you. How challenging is it when you're constantly on the road? Everybody thinks that sports is a great job to have, and it is, but it takes a toll because you're working different hours than everybody else. Yeah, you know, DJ, I've been doing this now for 30 years. This is my 31st year of working in athletics, and you, you certainly have to find ways to – to balance family and balance the job. And, you know, you, you learn right away that it's not easy. Um, we don't work nine to five. We don't work Monday through Friday, um, you know, just to give you an idea. So tonight, you know, we'll be here till 10 o'clock with the high school game. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to catch the football scrimmage uh, down at West Liberty University. And then I gotta come, I'll be back here for the two soccer games that we have in the afternoon. And then Sunday, we have a, a freshman social for all of our first years. And so it's it's uh, sometimes it's seven days a week and you, you just have to find time to make it for your family. And, you know, the beautiful thing about working in this profession is my family has been able to come with me to a lot of things. They, they come to a lot of our events. Um, I've been blessed to take my kids to to Hawaii for the Maui Invitational. We've been to the Fiesta Bowl uh, for football. So my kids have had, had wonderful experiences. Um, you know, has dad not been there as much as maybe some other dads? Yeah, for sure, because that's the nature of my business. But, um, you know, we've been able to make it work. And, you know, right now my kids are, I have one kid that's out of school. She's a teacher in Illinois. Uh, my other two are still in college on the tail end of their college career. And so it's um, it's a challenging profession at times, but you, you've got to um, you've got to find ways to spend time with your family because that's what this is all about. And, and so um, we've we've been able to make it work and we're blessed to have three wonderful children. JC, you did an awesome job. I'm so excited to start working with you. Uh, I'm so happy everything got finalized. And I'm, I'm really excited for everybody to see the, not only Westminster and the talent that you have on those fields and in the classrooms, in the broadcasting booth and everywhere on that campus, but certainly uh, to for to to have YSN be kind of in the Westminster presence as well. Thank you so much for everything. Congratulations on all your success. Well, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. It's um, it's folks like you that certainly make this job even more fulfilling. I, I think that, you know, there's there's so many Westminster alums out there that are doing great things. And, you know, anytime that I can spend time with them, partner with them, uh, provide opportunities for our current student athletes to, to take advantage of those partnerships, that's that's what I love doing. And so uh, I'm very excited about our partnership. I, I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about creating more exposure for our current student athletes, um, helping prospective student athletes learn more about Westminster. And quite frankly, working with you, uh, I, I know that you have a, a, a very strong vested interest in making this work. And um, I, I just I can't thank you enough for the partnership and certainly looking forward to what this first year has in, in store for us. 
You got it. Jason Leonard, Westminster College Athletic Director. Thank you so much. Thank you, DJ.